Okay, this is part two of doing the scalloped edge. So here's what I was working on. I dampened it, pressed it out to try to, you know, make the little scallop here. Tacked it down twice, right here. Went through twice to make sure it's secure. Wrapped, connected to this thread. Wrapped, connected to this thread. Wrapped, connected, wrapped, connected. So see, I'm gonna leave this sit. Sometimes I end up with a whole basket with these little clothespins sitting in them. See, some of these need to be held out a little further, but it's just kind of training them. See, you got you need the holes there. So this is what I'm meaning by snaking it through. So here's one I did, it's already been waxed, and I have the green down below, and then I have the rust color or cinnamon up above. So let's see if you could see how those are intertwined or snaked through. There's the two colors, and that's how I finished off the basket. So here's a good example, I think you could see. See how they're intertwined? right there so that's what I'm doing here but it's going to be purple and green so wrapped attached down twice four place it's I left four openings that's just my little mathematics the way I figured it and then now I'm just going to start wrapping again and creating a large enough wrap that I can bend it and tack it down. So in this case, I attached it four times through four different threads. Here I'm going to leave nine open and then attach it four and then nine open and loop around to the end here. And that's just my little figuring on what would look the way I wanted it to look. So everybody can do their own, do it their own way, but that's what it's gonna look like when you get one little opening there. Okay, I'll be back when I get to this edge and show you what I'm doing there. <laughs> 